I see myself as, as an activist because that's the work I've been doing for 20 years, but I also see myself as a facilitator of activists. Um, the way in which they use technology and the way in which information is used um, by those activists is something that I've been working on for a long time. Activists have been using technology and digital media forever. If you look at any, historically, any, any activist movement you know, in South Africa, in, in the former Soviet Union, in Eastern Europe, you'll see activists using technology. What's changed is the way in which they're using technology, as technology has changed. So much as the for-profit sector has found ways of using the internet, mobile phones, and Web 2.0, so have activists. And that's changed even more so in the last few years. I started out working actually um, right here in Shoreditch, um, in the very beginning of the internet scene in, in London, in the UK. Um, working on websites and just decided that um, t I thought technology could do more and, and I left um, and started working globally on how different kinds of nonprofits around the world could use technology the same way businesses had. And then I got pretty quickly uh, into working with activists and looking at the way in which they can use technology more skillfully. Tactical Tech is an organization I co-founded uh, 13 years ago now. And it's an organization that looks at the way in which activists around the world and nonprofits can use technology for social change. Um, it helps them think about how they can use it for organizing, for documenting abuses, um, and more recently for um, thinking about how they protect themselves online as well because of the work they're doing. About five years ago, we decided to found another organization called Tactical Studios because the work we're doing with activists was quite specialist, and we saw more and more that the general public was interested in the same kind of questions. So they were interested in how technology could also be used um, in their own discussions and their own actions, but also increasingly uh, interested in questions around things like data privacy. So we felt that that was a really important role to play for a creative to start communicating those issues to everyday people, um, to make them interesting to them and to make, to make sense of those issues. Although I've been working in a kind of specific sector, I'm also what people sometimes call a social entrepreneur. So I've been through the process of starting up organizations and trying to make them work. And in this sense, I would advise uh, new tech entrepreneurs to, to take risks and, and to, to sort of ask hard questions and, and to keep trying, which is the kind of cliched advice I think you often get on entrepreneurism. But, uh, I think also in the area of technology in particular, I think I'd encourage them to think hard about um, not taking easy routes and trying to find solutions which might not be obvious at first, but um, to have conviction in doing things that are actually useful but can still make money. I'm really inspired um, continuously, I think, by the challenge of trying to solve problems. Um, I was trained as a designer. Um, and so therefore, as, a, as I like to think of as a problem solver, and in the work I've done over the last 15 years looking at technology and activism, there's always something to work on. And so in those moments uh, when there seems to be a new challenge that's really difficult to solve, I seem to find inspiration to start all over again.